So this is a simple guide to using and operating a Renault Twizy. So let's just start with starting it up. You put your key in the ignition, you put your foot on the foot brake, turn the ignition on, just wait one second or so and then turn it round like a starter motor if you were starting a, a normal petrol or diesel car and you want that bing noise and the go light. The go light means the motor is now running. The biggest problem on Renault Twizzies is releasing the handbrake. So you've got a switch on your thumb end here which you need to push in to release it. You also need to put your foot on the foot brake. So with the foot on the foot brake you can release that switch. It's quite stiff so it's easier to pull it up a little bit at the same time releasing the switch. So you release the pressure off the handbrake and then it will release and the uh, handbrake light goes out. If you're struggling releasing that, it's often because you're not pushing the foot brake hard enough. You've got to push that foot brake quite hard to hit the switch on that to then allow this electrical switch to release. So the biggest problem I found is people struggling with these is they're just not pushing hard enough on that switch. And as I said, you've got to just pull it up a little bit to take the pressure off. So that's the most awkward thing on Twizzies is releasing the handbrake. But the handbrake's now released. These are your gears, drive, neutral, reverse. So you've always got to have your foot on the brake and you press D and it says up here, drive, and we're now ready to go. You just touch the accelerator. So as with all electric vehicles, when you take your foot off the accelerator, you get that regen braking and that's where the motor then turns into a generator and starts putting energy back into the battery pack. So that's what you want to utilize as much as possible. So when you're coming up to a junction or roundabout or need to slow down, you take your foot off the accelerator much earlier than you would do driving a conventional car and you coast as much as you can. You want to drive like you've got no brakes. As soon as you're touching the brakes, you're throwing away that energy you could have captured and put back in the battery. So on the dash on here, this is showing your battery pack, of course. This up here is your power meter. So when you're using power, you'll get bars moving along. And when you're regening, and getting power going back in the battery is what you want to capitalise on. It will show it going down this side and going back into the battery pack. It's as simple as that. So a very simple dash. You've got some buttons on the end of this stalk. You can scroll through the various options. I won't go into it all, but uh, the main one is your range. It's showing 29 miles at the moment. That's uh, pretty poor. Um, this will do a lot more than that. It's just because it hasn't been driven in a long time. It's been sat still and this has got to recalculate the range based on the driving. And then over here we've got indicators, lights, and then this is a pedestrian warning uh, beeper. And then on this side we've got wipers, um, pull it towards you for the washer. And then the switch here is the heated um, windscreen. So the, on the Twizzies you've got uh, very fine wires in the windscreen and it will um, de-mist or, or de-ice the windscreen. And that's about it. It's very simple. There's very little um, functions on a Twizzy. I would just say uh, you've got a glove box here and in there is a 12 volt socket if you want to charge your phone. And then you've got another glove box here which is lockable with the key. When a passenger is climbing into the back seat the best thing to do is slide the front seat all the way forward. There is a bar there that you can um, slide it forward. The passenger wants to get in from this side where there is only, uh, where there's no seat belt mountings, there's only this shoulder uh, belt because the other side you've got that belt in the way. And then when that passenger is in, there is a fabric tag here which operates the seat slider so they can pull that seat back which allows the driver to get in. I'll just quickly talk about the seat belts. The rear passenger has one diagonal seat belt as normal. The front driver has two seat belts. So this is your normal inertia seat belt which goes across you and the buckle goes into the latch down there. And then on this side you just have a shoulder strap. So that just goes around your uh, right hand side shoulder. That's primarily for twizzes that don't have doors um, and it stops you falling outside in an impact. When you've got doors this seat belt is less important but it's very easy just to slip your arm through there and that's how it works. So charging the twizzy, open the flap and here's your charge cable. Simply plug it into a three pin socket. So it's best to pull the cable all the way out 
because there's a lot of tension on this coiled cable and it has a habit if it's under tension of just pulling that plug out the socket slightly and it might lose contact so um, yeah pull it all the way out plug it in the twizzy charger controls the power so it will turn itself off when it's at 100% so you can't overcharge them so plug it in go to sleep come out in the morning it will be fully charged they do have a habit of dropping a percent or two in the morning if it's been left a long time you will notice it will drop two or three percent a night something like that but it will be charged to sort of 96 97 percent when you come out in the morning so it's fine in here is also your washer bottle um, do make sure this flap is properly shut because um, if this springs open when you're driving it can easily snap these hinges it's pretty weak here and you'll find a lot of twizzes have had to um, be glued here to uh, control to glue the flap back up it's a pretty weak design actually so make sure that is properly down and also make sure the cable is properly in there so it's not putting any force on the flap attempting to push it you up. don't have to worry about getting water inside a twizzy obviously many twizzies don't even have doors so if you're driving in the rain you're going to get wet inside but if you're washing it you can get a hose around in here and give it a good clean because the inside always gets dirty you get uh, marks off your shoes on the plastics and if you're cleaning it the best thing to do is just park it up a hill so the front is uphill and that allows all the water to drain down the sides and there are two drain holes there's a slot here either side of the footwell below the driver's seat so all the water can run down here and drain out of these slots and you've also got a drain hole there in the driver's seat just quickly mention the doors sometimes the doors can be a bit awkward to shut you need to give it a really good slam down to make them shut properly but if you find your doors are getting a bit rattly it's often because some of these parts have gone missing so a latch should look like this where you have two plastic wedges on either side with some rubber and they're sort of sprung loaded so there's one on either side and at the bottom is a rubber bung that rubber bung is only stuck on and sometimes can go missing so if you find um, the doors aren't shutting properly just make sure that bung is still there if it has gone missing you can buy these from Renault on its own that bung it's about 10 pounds which is a lot just for a bit of uh, rubber block but you can stick a new bung in there and that will solve it if these bits go missing either of these two bits are plastic that's if they're missing it will cause the door to vibrate sideways as well you can't buy them on your own you have to buy a whole new latch assembly which i think is about 45 50 pounds but just keep an eye on these because these components can go missing as a twizzy age the other issue on well the common issue on Renault twizzes is the 12 volt battery so it's a little 12 volt battery sits inside here so to get to it you need to remove a little bung either side if it exists and then two 10 millimeter bolts underneath and you can pull this front bumper off that holds the number plate and in there is a little 12 volt battery that battery probably needs changing every two to three years it depends how long you leave it sat for but those can swell over time and you need to buy a new battery um, so if you've got issues with the twizzy it won't start or it won't charge it's always that 12 volt battery you can now buy these for 50 quid um, before they were a Renault only part but you can now buy them aftermarket the full details are on my website so if you're leaving this for any length of time then it's worth just going out and plugging it in on the charger with the cable at the front every week or two just for five or ten minutes it just gives it a little top up and keeps that 12 volt battery up front charged the traction battery that sits under that floor doesn't really lose anything the issue is always with that little 12 volt battery if you're leaving your twizzy for any length of time certainly if it's going to be sat there for a month or more but uh, particularly over the winter months when you're not using it it's worth removing a fuse up here there is a 60 amp fuse up here in the fuse board so to get to that you need to remove this bit of trim around the handbrake so you just get your fingers up there and you pull it down it's got four retaining clips holding this trim on then you work it around the handbrake and that gives you access to the fuse board and then remove that 60 amp fuse have a look in your user manual and it will tell you what the which one the fuse is and 
that stops the battery draining the 12 volt battery up front and uh, allows you to store the twitty for any length of time it's also a great anti-theft device as well because you cannot start this twitty obviously with that fuse one gone. other thing to note is keep an eye on your tire pressures you want your tires properly inflated otherwise um, low tires it, it ruins handling and it also reduces your range so the tires should be pumped up at 2.3 bar on the front and two bar on the rear the only other thing worth pointing out is the brakes on Renault Twizzies they do have a habit of corroding as they do on all electric vehicles because you don't tend to use the brakes much and the it's all very exposed on here so they will corrode and always be rusty and always be a little bit noisy but it's completely normal and also in a twizzy of course you're sat so close to the brakes you hear every little noise and the brakes will sound worse than other cars and you will hear them grinding but as you drive they will clean up um, it's just completely normal with these if they do get particularly bad or the twist has been stored outside for a long period of time the pistons can seize a little bit and uh, you can pop the piston out and clean them up and remove the corrosion and restore them effectively or you can buy new brake parts um, but the brake parts on these are quite expensive but it is a common issue on the twizzies of um, brake calipers corroding but uh, they've obviously got to be quite bad before you need to do that but um, what I'm trying to say is just generally the brakes are noisy on a twizzy and you will he hear them grinding you will hear the pads sort of grinding and rubbing on the discs as you drive but that is pretty normal on these um, because you sat so close to them and just because they constantly corrode and they just need a good cleaning so um, take it down the road slam on the brakes a few times it will clean the discs up and it will get better so I think I've covered everything now, so enjoy your twizzy.